Hey guys, it's Greg. Uh, just wanted to do a little bit of catching up uh, to start off the new year. Um, so let's talk about something recent. Uh, so last week was the top eight SG or Singapore for left and right hand. Um, it was a bit of a passion project I had. Um, just for some context, you know, the top eight to ten people um, in Singapore um, had been generally well established, but the exact placings of, of these ten people weren't actually known. Um, so what I wanted to do was to um, get a better understanding um, of uh, the specific rankings of the top people in Singapore, which is why I organized um, the top uh, top eight Singapore event. Um, originally, I was not supposed to participate in the event because uh, it was a bit of a conflict of interest. Um, the prize money and everything was coming out of my own pocket, so it felt kind of weird to to pay myself uh, directly. And I was also a ref, so that was kind of awkward, but someone fell sick at the last moment, so I had to step in um, on pretty short notice, about 24 hours notice, um, but I'm glad it turned out um, the way it did. Um, so I'm currently um, rank one in Singapore on the right hand. Um, not really, actually, I'm probably rank two. Um, there's still a Valen Lo, who I've never beaten officially yet. Um, so that might happen sometime in the future. It's not something I'm really chasing. Um, I've got other plans uh, in, in terms of arm wrestling. So now on to the next big thing that's going to be happening for me um, pretty soon. Uh, it's in about one month exactly from today, I think. On the 12th of February, um, I'll be having a super match uh, with the number two uh, Indonesian guy in the under 86 kilo category. I'll be flying over to Indonesia along with two other Singaporean guys and we'll be having um, three super matches in total. Um, Indonesia has never really um, had much contact um, outside of their own country because of um, the general situation over there. Most people don't really have the financial ability to travel out of the country to, to challenge other countries. Um, but very fortunately, I had um, a friend uh, in Indonesia, goes by the name of Ted, Ted Chris. Um, so he sponsored me to fly over to Indonesia to challenge their number two guy in 86 kilos. Just for some context, the number two guy over there, his name's Iwan Diono. Um, him along with two other guys um, are the top three and they're um, pretty much interchangeable. Like one guy, one guy beats the other guy, beats the other guy and they're all pretty close in strength. So um, depending on how well I do against Iwan Diono, I'll have a pretty good gauge of where I stand in, um, in their 86 kilo scene. Um, even though I'm not really an 86 kilo puller, I'm coming up a weight class from 78 um, this year, uh, which um, it, it's much easier on me um, diet-wise because I don't have to diet um, as aggressively as before. So I'm hoping to do well and uh, we shall see. Now I'm gonna put in some uh, training footage uh, of me with um, the number one overall in Indonesia and quite possibly number one, number two in all of uh, Southeast Asia. Um, his name is Tommy. So he came over for a practice uh, a couple of weeks back um, and uh, gave me a couple of tips on how to deal with uh, Iwan Diono. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the, the tips actually work. Um, and uh, it turns out to be a favorable day for the Singaporean team. The last news that I want to share with you guys, it's actually pretty big news. Um, it's uh, the formation of a new organization in Singapore. It's called the Ultimate Arm Wrestling Championship. So um, a local influencer or a celebrity, whatever you want to call it, um, he has always been a, a passive fan of arm wrestling and. Uh, early this year, he got in contact with um, the president of Singapore Arm Wrestling, Valen Lo, and they got together and they formed this um, UAC, which they want to sort of commercialize arm wrestling locally. Um, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to be a part of uh, the first event called Armageddon, 
um, which will be taking place in March. It's going to be like six cards on, um, on the first event, and I'm going to be the main card. Um, so it's going to be me versus T Jin, who took second place at Top 8 Singapore for right hand. Uh, so that's going to be an exciting match. Uh, T, T has been a huge rival of mine for, for many, many years. So uh, this is going to be very, very exciting for both of us. And uh, even more exciting for the local scene as a whole, um, if the event goes well. Those of you who live in Singapore, if you can support us, uh, the link for tickets are going to be um, in the description below. And for those of you who don't, uh, I'm sure there, uh, there's going to be videos online uh, sooner or later. Uh, but yeah, those are um, the, the big news that I have to share. Um, so, pretty eventful start of the year. Um, a lot of events in just these three months, so hopefully everything goes well.